So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very specific build that I made a whole video on. I'll briefly describe the build in this video, but I highly recommend watching the build video to fully understand how to utilize it. The link to that will be in the description. The exotic armor in rotation today will also be in the top line of the description on this video. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into the guide. Alright, so for the build today, we're going to be using my Oathkeeper Infinite Weakened Spam build on Hunter. For our weapons, we have Wish Ender for anti-barrier and also just some high damage when combined with Oathkeeper, a Choice Rifle for overload champions, and we're going to be using a rocket for that boss damage with the Arc Surge. There is a lot more that goes into this build, so I highly recommend watching the full build video before watching the guide. But with the build out of the way, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you enter the Lost Sector is shoot out these lasers. Definitely don't stand too close to them because they will do quite a bit of damage. Now typically when you enter this Lost Sector, there's going to be a little Invis Marauder to your left, but this time they are actually in front of me. Now as you can see, the Barrier Champion is right in front of us and he has two snipers that he's making immune, so you're definitely going to want to be careful. Now as you see, I got pushed up by a Marauder. That doesn't typically happen. Typically you see him at the beginning, but he pushed up on me Invis somehow. But it's all good, we take care of him, he doesn't one-shot you, so if you do get hit, just be sure to run away and recover from that situation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some peak shots off on the barrier servitors. What you can do is you can listen for when those snipes come, that way you can peek after the snipes actually happen. And now that we've stunned the barrier, the snipers are no longer immune, so we can start hitting them down a little bit. Now unfortunately, they were able to get away, the barrier has repositioned, so what I'm doing at this point is I'm just going to keep peeking, clearing out as many ads as possible, and just trying to get an opening on that barrier. We're going to move forward, we're going to start killing these adds one by one, throw our nade just to get that ad clear going on, and as you can see, Wish Ender is just absolutely demolishing everything. Everything is one shot except for, you know, higher HP enemies like the captain, but that is no problem at all. Now if you take too long to kill the barrier, he's actually going to reposition up here, but this is actually a more optimal position to take care of him because it's harder for the snipers to actually deal damage to you at that point in time when he's up here. We're going to throw our little melee for the weaken, switch to our rocket, just try to take care of this guy as fast as possible and from that point we can move forward. Now in this next section obviously we still have the snipers alive but there's also more snipers, the tracer shanks, they do have solar shields so it'll take more than one shot from our oath keeper but that's no problem at all because they still die to two and then after these tracer shanks there's going to be some exploder shanks. Now these exploder shanks only spawn when you actually move forward. You see they're not here yet. What I'm trying to do is just get some clear going but if you move forward too much those exploder shanks will come in and then at that point the barrier champion also spawns but we're not worried about the barrier champion too much right now we're just trying to take care of these exploder shanks all right we took care of them and now we have two vandals right side now the barrier is unfortunately making them immune vandals will typically push way too far for the barrier to make them immune like they're doing right here so we can take care of them very very easily from that point point. and now that there's no more snipers well we're gonna shoot this nade first but now we can take care of the barrier champion and like i said this Oathkeeper, Wish Ender combination with the Infinite Weaken is just so powerful. So, you know, we're just going to breeze through this. This Lost Sector isn't, it isn't optimal in time to complete by any means. But like every other Lost Sector, if you follow these steps, if you follow these tips, if you run the build that I'm using, you're just going to have a very easy time. As you see, we're making short work of the Barrier Champion. Just going to have to reload our rocket. That is something, that is a bad habit of mine. I use my rocket, I just did it again. I use my rocket fire it off and then I switch without reloading so when I need a rocket it's not available to me uh, so yeah now we're just gonna move forward we got the drag and up ahead there's gonna be an overload champion with one more drag take care of the drag as of course he is one shot now we're gonna push up with our trace rifle start beaming down this overload champion not much he could do about it now the beautiful thing about this overload champion is that he can't really do much damage to you if you're just strafing left to right as you can see he's only landing one out of every five shots on me just strafe left to right really fast and he can't do much about it and we're just going to try to finish him off without having to reproc our trace rifle but it didn't work out but that is no problem as when you start shooting him with a trace rifle even if he's not stunned it does stop his health regen so we're just going to move back grab a little bit of ammo because we are running a little bit low on rocket not too low but 
low enough to the point where it was worth it to go grab it. Now we're going to move forward, and up ahead there's going to be another Overload Champion with a group of adds that are really easy to deal with, guys. We're just going to end up throwing our nade, most likely. We're going to start off by just using our bow, though. All these guys are melee. They're not doing any damage. The only thing you really have to worry about is the Overload, but if you're doing exactly what I'm doing, peeking in and out, we're not rushing forward. We're taking our time because we do have the bow. Peeking in and out of cover, it's not really going to do much damage. There's the nade, and we did get a little bit low, but we did have cover, so if we ever were in a situation where we were worried, we could just back up. We could just go invis. Not really much to do there. Not really much to worry about. Um, now, I am running this on Hunter, obviously, but if you guys need a build, just hop on my channel, just look in my channel, and you will see that there is a build for every single class uh, within the last week I have posted them. All of those are viable in my Lost Sector guys. They are specifically why I made them. Take care of that last group of adds like you saw. Just four melee adds will be right after the overload and then we push forward. Now what I like to do is clear out as many adds as possible because that gives the barrier less protection. Obviously the barrier loves to make things immune to damage and they will shoot at you when you're trying to deal with the barrier so I like to clear them out as much as possible but as you can see some of them are just staying back so they don't really matter too much. At that point you would just focus down the barrier if they're not moving anywhere near him. Now I did try to go for the weak in there but he became immune just the second that I did that. It's no problem at all though. I can still get a rocket off and we're going to slow chip down this barrier with our Ender. Now, what's going to happen here is there's going to be a bunch of Tracer Shanks. They are snipers, so be careful of those. Take care of them, and then at that point, after we kill enough adds, the boss will no longer be immune, and then we are going to be able to obviously do some damage to him. Now, there are some adds on the left side. Those are, the, those are also included in making the boss no longer immune. Now, you see, I'm jumping out of cover because I don't know how many adds it takes for the boss to actually become immune. It's, it's, it's quite strange, actually. One time I had an add half HP, and then the boss was no longer immune. So it is a little bit weird, so just be cautious when you're clearing out these adds. Those adds in the back don't count. The Nightmare Shank doesn't count either. It's just annoying because it has so much health, so I'm going to take care of it. Uh, that Nightmare Shank and the adds in the back don't count towards making the boss no longer immune. But we're going to take care of him because I don't need something with that much with that much HP doing all that damage to me. As you can see, that is the final add that we needed to kill. So now that the boss is no longer immune, we're going to pop our super just to get some heavy damage on it. Now one thing about this boss is he likes to teleport around at certain damage thresholds. After we get him low the first time, he's going to move to the left side, okay? And then after we get him low again, he's going to move to the right side. Uh, that, that's generally not a problem at all. Uh, as you can see, we're, we, we're clearly aware of that, so we're going to be able to play around it. Now, what we're going to do here is, you know, try to clear out as many ads as possible. That way the boss isn't giving us trouble. We're not <laughs> trying to shoot the boss while these ads are shooting at us, you know what I mean? So we're going to clear these guys out, dodge out of that grenade's way, and we're just going to clear out this left side, and then that's where we're going to move in order to do damage to the boss. All right, moving up here. I see there's a, some heavy ammo. I'll probably grab that in a second. But, like I said, we're just trying to grab some ground here so that we can actually do any damage to the boss from this left side here. Just one more add to go. Gonna dodge out of that nade to be safe. Not sure why I'm not picking up the heavy. That would definitely be the play here. Uh, we do have an opening, though, so we're gonna start damaging the boss a little bit. Whenever an add decides to peek, we'll take care of them. Really, really simple stuff, guys. This Wish Ender just makes it so easy. Like, literally every activity in the game is so easy with this Wish Ender. I'm actually gonna run some GMs later with it. Really excited for that. But yeah, it's just very simple. We're just gonna clear out adds, do damage to the boss. He's gonna teleport, and we will act accordingly. Now, as you can see, when he gets to that last bar of HP, he's actually gonna teleport to the right side of the map, like I was saying. And he is so low at this point in time. Our Wish Ender and our Super is gonna take care of him, but you're gonna wanna be careful, because where I'm looking right then, uh, adds will actually spawn occasionally. Doesn't look like they're doing it this time, not quite yet, at least. So, it's the same thing, guys. We're just gonna clear out adds, we're gonna watch out behind us in case some adds decide to spawn, and we're gonna do boss damage. Not really much that they can do about this combination. Now, unfortunately, that super didn't really do anything at all, but again, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna bow everything down. Our Wish Ender is doing so much damage. By the way, I did test the damage, guys. Wish Ender does more damage than Arbalist, and it is a primary, so if you are on the fence about going and grinding and getting this weapon, stop. Literally go get it right now. It's so meta. Don't know why people are unaware of this. Definitely go get it. It makes everything just so easy. And as you can see, we just breeze through this lost sector. Now we just have to get to the chest. Gonna wait for my invis to come up. 
And that is a wrap, guys. Really, really easy. Just not the fastest lost sector today. And that's going to be the guide, guys. Don't forget to watch the build video. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post lost sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.